Yep. talking about um, you know apartment buildings quartz is definitely a better choice um, and actually happens to be a more affordable choice I think still um, so this is basically what we're installed with this what we're looking at right now is kind of like an overhang edge over the uh, islands which is really nice because it gives a lot of extra real estate and again because it's quartz it's not going to crack or break or anything like that um, but it gives you, yeah, some extra real estate, and then of course, you know, tenants can set up bar stools on this side if they want to. But really, just a, you know, a lot of space, a lot of real estate for counters. Um, and then of course, we've got the four-inch backsplash that came with our uh, countertops as well, and that runs along the back uh, just to add, you know, an additional, you know, quality and decorative feel um, to you know what we're doing. And then of course. Right now, um, you can kind of see some of the clocked edges here, but then once we come through and paint, all of these edges will also get clocked back as well. Okay, so we're in one of the units that we've partially installed the flooring in. Uh, the reason for it is because currently we are still uh, without cooling in the building. Um, our power is getting turned on today, and so we'll be hooking up our condensers and AC units uh, very soon here. But one of the reasons why we added flooring throughout our mechanical rooms here is so that we can set the, um, the furnaces on top of finished floor so that we're not setting them right on the, uh, the gypcrete and then running the flooring to it, which would give it a kind of, you know, unfinished look and, uh, you know, not something we're really wanting to do. So we pre-installed a little bit of the flooring here so that we can set our furnaces on finished floor and not have to worry about them once we've started cooling the building. Um, the, one of the reasons why we can't install flooring before uh, we cool the building is because this flooring has to acclimate to the consistent temperature or right around the consistent temperature that we're going to keep the building at. Otherwise, this, uh, this flooring will, will expand and contract. So if you were to you know, cool the building after you installed all your flooring, it would shrink and you would have you know, gaps in all of your floors and that's not something that we want to deal with. 
So we can install a partial amount because, you know, a small amount of flooring, if it contracts a bit, you know, you can snap it all together and then install your complete floor once we're ready uh, and cooled in the building. So we're in the main parking lot right now. We've kind of pulled out all of the old asphalt and we've pulled out quite a bit of soil out of here as well. Um, the goal is to bring it down to our catch basin grades um, that were set by the engineer when we first designed the property. So these were installed by our utility contractor. So we're pulling all the soil out and then we're adding back uh, gravel and rock, as you can see here. Uh, makes for a more solid, compacted base for a stable you know, parking lot and also for good drainage as well. Um, but you'll notice that a lot of our ground here is actually starting to slope in to these catch basins. Um, and that's the general idea is to, you know, for rainfall and stuff like that, we don't want to have puddles, you know, everywhere in, in our parking lot. We want it all to drain to one place or two places as you can see here. So these catch basins will, everything will slope to them in the parking lot, um, you know, slightly or more slightly, um, but basically to catch all of our rainfall and get it draining properly and off of the building so that we're not, you know, stuck with a bunch of water on our property. Um, that's the general idea. Um, so right now, like I said, we're running through and laying additional gravel here and then we're compacting it with our roller there. And uh, once we get a rough grade, we'll bring in our surveyor. Uh, he'll give us stakes and then we'll do a fine grade and then we'll start pouring our curb, our uh, sidewalk, and then finally our asphalt to go in. is telling me that we're six weeks away from being complete. I don't know about that. We still got a lot of work, but uh, we are getting closer to that finish line. I can definitely feel it, but six weeks seems like a bit of a, um, a bit of a stretch. We will see if we can make that goal though. Overall, this place is coming along. Uh, we got the letters installed today but we're missing an r so funny enough somebody comes by as i'm admiring the installation of the um, lettering of the building and somebody comes by and they start questioning if one or two of the letters are installed upside down um, we're missing an r on one of the two signs and so uh, you know, he kind of jokingly tries to pronounce the uh, ribbon without the R, and so that was a that was a, a funny bit. But um, we're here. We finally are at a point where we have our signage installed, uh, or at least some of that signage installed, and that further indicates that we're we're getting closer to that finish line. But I uh, really appreciate you chiming in for this week's episode of Flux City Weekly and more to come. I'll see you next week.